99 Plymouth, but thousands of Hispanic and female farmers who had never uh, claimed bias. The deal, uh, several current and former governor office, government offices said was fashioned in a widespread vein of objections uh, until now uh, undisclosed of career lawyers and agency officials who had argued that there was no evidence of widespread discrimination. This is, is more, uh, some protested, the template for the deal. Well, they had to have a deal. They had to have encompass more people. And if they got more people in there, particularly women, the African-American people would get it. I think a lot of people were disappointed. This is uh, Michael Kelly, who retired last year, and the Department of Agriculture is a, uh associate counsel. you got to remember, the Department of Agriculture had had a very long history of discriminating against African-American people to this day. You can't spend a lot of years trying to defend these cases honestly. They had the tables turned on you and not question the wisdom of the settlement. Then a broad sweep. Compensation efforts sprung from the desire to redress what government and a federal good judge agreed was painful legacy of bias against African American farmers by the Department of Agriculture. Uh, the Times has showed it uh, became a runaway train driven uh, by racial politics. You have to remember, the Times itself in many uh, junctures there, is racist. Law firms uh, st uh, stood to gain $130 million in fees. In the past years, it had grown to encompass a second group of African-American farmers should, uh, because everybody can get in on the class, as well as Hispanic females and Native American farmers. In all, more than 90,000 people have filed claims. A total of four point uh, four uh, tenths of billion uh, from the start, the claim process prompted allegations of that of fraud. They always say this. Agriculture Department reviews found uh, reams of suspected claims from nursery school age kids, uh, pockets of urban dwellers, sometimes in the same handwriting with nearly identical accounts of discrimination. Yet these concerns were played down as the compensation effort grew. Now people, they say, were unfairly denied loans, uh, can collect up to... To uh, 50,000 with little documentation. Well, you got to have some documentation. As a senator, of course, Senator Obama uh, had pressed for the 1.15 uh, billion to be paid for the new claimants. Other groups quickly escalated their claims for similar demands. In uh, the letter to the White House, Senator Menendez, Bob Menendez of New Jersey, a leading Hispanic Democrat, threatened to mount a campaign outside the Beltway if uh, Hispanic farmers were not included in this. Latinos, a group uh, founded a, a champion in uh, Venzac. Venzac uh, used to be a representative from Iowa. New settlements would provide a way to neutralize the arguments that government favored African American farmers over Latinos, or Native Americans, or women farmers. So they went for this. Uh, this was the deal. Well, this happens many times in in politics. A special Treasury Department account known as uh, the uh, Judgment fund. The fund is restricted to payments of court approval, approved. Excuse me. Uh, judgments and settlements, as well as to out-of-court settlements in cases where the government faces uh, immense litigation. So, some officials argued that tapping the fund for the farmers set a bad precedent. Well, nonetheless, it was there. It's only fund is not politically accessible. It's only legally accessible uh, there. Uh, in uh, 2010, settlements with uh, Native American funds were contentious on for its own reasons. Justice Department lawyers argued that the $760 million settlement filed stripped the potential cost of a uh, defense in court. The Agriculture Department said not that many uh, farmers would uh, file claims. The prediction proved to be prophetic. Only uh, 300 million in claims were filed, leaving uh, 40 million in control of plaintiffs, lawyers to be distributed among a handful of nonprofit organizations serving Native Americans. This was a positive development, no doubt about that. The Times uh, examined uh, thousands of papers, and they need to be examining uh, Stop and Frisk in New York. Involving cases over the past 14 years, many officials spoke in addition to anonymity, citing rules against the uh, disclosure of, de of uh, deliberations. Um, Vansack uh, 
that said the compensation effort uh, ushers in a new chapter of civil rights at USDA. We hope so. Uh, we weren't just check, uh, just writing checks for the heck of it, uh, Van Zak said. People were not uh, were not treated uh, fairly, and in fact, even today, there's dangers as a result of folks who weren't treated fairly. So, and on here, um, fraud has been a relatively uh, small part of the claim. Well, that happens all the time there. Three of every uh, ten claimants have been rejected. Only three claimants have been convicted of fraud. Uh, acting Associate Attorney General uh, Tony West, who handled the Supervision of Civil Division and over, uh, oversaw the handling of the cases, canceled the interview. Uh, General Holder, he was nowhere to be found. He's smart after Fast and Furious. It was a, it was a, prior, a priority for the administration to resolve longstanding discrimination cases, no doubt about that. And this case was extraordinarily long-standing. Uh, so nonetheless, the judgment fund was used. They tapped it. They used it. And uh, Vansack uh, uh, blamed the Scrimble Agriculture employees. There's no doubt about that. There were a bunch of those out there, and they are the ones that the historical uh, discrimination uh, exists in the part of agriculture. But critics, including some of the original uh, plaintiffs, say that it's precisely what the government did when they first agreed to composition, not only those who had proof of bias, but for those who had none. Why did they let people get away with all that? And that's uh, what Abraham Carpenter Jr., who farms uh, uh, 1,200 acres in Grady, Arkansas. Well, who knows about that? The original uh, lawsuit was... Uh, Pitford versus Glickman. Dan Glickman at the time was uh, uh, with the agriculture department. Now he does a movie uh, lobbying thing. Governor Powell and the Billy Office reported that 16% of minority farmers were denied loans compared with 10% of white farmers. Well, it was more than that. Uh, that wasn't a very good thing there. And nonetheless, uh, uh, James uh, Bird, a Virginia farmer who led the National uh, Black uh, Farm Association was among those who pressed uh, Governor Clinton. Bird said he uh, recounted how a loan officer denied him $7,500 and handed out a $150,000 check to a white farmer who never literally filed an application. So this is one of the things that uh, you will run into. Thus, these uh, many years of historical uh, discrimination at the uh, Department of Agriculture is one of those things that has uh, continued on, and uh, Carol Willis was one of the people also involved in this. Uh, uh, wait a minute. For his expertise in uh, voting uh, turnout to get involved, Willis said he recruited a fellow cross, a Pine Bluff uh, lawyer, to join. The plaintiff's team, and initially the class of potential claimants uh, to be African Americans who uh, fought between uh, 1981 and uh, 1996. And uh, now, to the records here, the Department of Agriculture was the ones that were blamed uh, for literally not having the record. Ninety uh, percent of the farmers had no records. I uh, Plaintiff's uh, lawyer said the billion-dollar settlement, the judge's opinion said, was designed to provide those uh, class members with little or no documentary evidence with virtually automatic cash payments of $50,000. Well, they did have to prove they were farmers. And uh, Randy uh, Roth, who was a court-appointed minder, said that uh, one of its shortcomings, the accord uh, charted the most effective legal remedy, and we always have to look at those. William uh, Corfe Jr. at Columbia Law School, in a special complex litigation, said that, that not requiring document evidence was quite unusual, but there was also uh, special circumstances, no doubt about that. 
And uh, Delton uh, Wright of Pine Bluff, these people all in Arkansas, uh, recalls what happened after word of settlement reached his impoverished region. It just went well. Some people took the money who didn't even after they even have their garden in the ground. Wright and family owned farmland outside of Pine Bluff on his claim, and so did two other applicants whose claims were virtually identical to his. Now 57, with his memory weakened by what he says was a recent stroke, Mr. Wright said he uh, could not recall details of the discrimination he encountered, much less explain uh, the apparent duplicate claims. Cross the uh, Pine Bluff lawyer said he had suspicion he got out of control, said they're adding that he had filed uh, about 1,500 claims, including rights and uh, apparent duplicates, uh, he estimated up to 15% of the Arkansas claims were fraudulent, no doubt, probably so. And maybe not. The Cotton Annex uh, building in Washington, the Freedom Team of the Farm Service Aid reviewed the claims before justice rendered, rendered their final decisions. In uh, recent interviews, 15 current and former agriculture employees who reviewed or responded to claims said uh, the loosening conditions for payment had opened the floodgates for, well, that was just bull. And uh, let's see here. We had applications. Oh, well, they weren't any four and five year old kids for sure. Carl uh, Bond, a former agricultural uh, department loan office manager in North Carolina, refused thousands of claims that I probably uh, could have gotten paid. Bond said, who is uh, an African American, you know it was wrong. Well, there still wasn't that many things paid out here. At the time, the data covered uh, 15,000 African Americans who filed successful trains and were paid before uh, 2009 in 16 zip codes in Alabama, Arkansas. And those are states with historical uh, discrimination that has went on since the days of uh, slavery, apartheid, etc., until today. Mississippi and North Carolina, the number of successful claimants exceeded the number of farm operations by people of any race. The year the lawsuits were filed, those applicants received uh, nearly $100 million. In Maple Hill, a struggling town in southeast North Carolina, the number of people paid was nearly four times the uh, number of farms. More than one in uh, nine African Americans were receiving checks. In Little Rock, Arkansas, a confidence list of payments showed 10 members of one extended family collected uh, a half million dollars. Well, that could happen. The 30% of all payments totaled uh, $290 million went to predominantly urban uh, counties, a phenomenon that supports the settlement, says, reflects uh, black farm migration. There's no doubt about that. They couldn't get any loans and went bankrupt. 11% of $107 million went to what the Agriculture Department uh, classifies as completely rural areas. A fraud hotline uh, referred uh, 503 cases involving uh, roughly 2,000 individuals uh, to the FBI. The FBI opened 60 uh, criminal investigations. That's a fairly small uh, number of uh, cases. Prosecutors abandoned all but a few uh, for reason of lack of evidence of proof of criminal intent. In Arkansas, uh, prosecutors rejected a test case against a Pine Bluff police officer who admitted lying on his claim. Paula Casey, the U.S. attorney in Arkansas, said uh, that singled out one individual race question of selective prosecution. No doubt about that. And uh, Bill Clinton was still in office. So this is one of the things that uh, tends to happen there. Some 66,000 claims poured in in uh, 1999, the deadline, noting that the, public, uh, the uh, government gave extensive notice of Judge Freeman's ruling. It was uh, how politics works. And G.W. Bush was unreceptive to uh, farmers' uh, repeated protests, but Congress uh, was not. Uh, legislation for both parties, including uh, President Obama's. But G.W. Bush represented a party that was a racist party and still is today. And Mr. Boyd said that 100,000 members of the African American Farmers Association are behind him. And uh, Hillary uh, 
Sheldon Alinis, 